Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. These are the very first clauses contained in the First Amendment, and they outline the notion of the separation of church and state in this country. While that's the case, there is no denying that religion can still play an important role in U.S. politics, and my research focuses on the history of the entanglements between religion and American government from the 1600s to the present. It's documented that religion had already become intertwined in politics as far back as the Mayflower Compact, the first major political agreement made by the Pilgrims, which would go on to influence our future founding documents over a century later. On July 4th, 1776, the Declaration of Independence was adopted in the first step toward the creation of the United States of America. It was also a confirmation that the government of our new nation would be built on a belief in God, which can be seen in the often quoted line, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now, our Constitution differs from the Declaration in the fact that it doesn't contain any overt mentions of God or religion. The First Amendment even specifically orders that the government allow citizens to practice whichever faith they choose freely and without interference. However, when it comes to the 50 state constitutions, there are mentions of God in every single one, and almost half contain between four and 12 of these references. These can also be found in several areas of contemporary American political life as well. The phrase, in God we trust, is the national motto of the United States and can be found both on our currency as well as public buildings. Our Pledge of Allegiance contains the phrase, one nation under God, and is regularly recited in congressional sessions, government meetings at the state and local levels, and in public schools in many states. The phrase, so help me God, is often used in oaths administered by the U.S. government, including the oath of citizenship and the presidential oath of office. In Washington, there are hundreds of religious lobbying and advocacy groups spending millions of dollars a year on efforts to influence national public policy. Major issue areas in American politics can also be traced back to religious beliefs, such as the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, abortion, and LGBTQ plus rights. The United States is a country which has often prided itself on being a haven for religious freedom and tolerance. And while that may be true in some aspects, the fact is that religion may play as big of a role in politics today as it did when the pilgrims first settled in the New England colonies 400 years ago. So in order for us to truly understand the nature of government and politics in our country, we must first recognize the roots of religious belief that lie deep within its political culture.